each finger has a function on the bow. Each finger has a function. And you can just set your bows in your laps or in your stands for the moment because we're going to mostly use fingers just for a second. All right. So what we have here is we have five fingers the way I think about it. I don't call this a thumb. I call this a finger, actually. Um, I think of it as a finger. So that's the, the Aussie finger. That's the Australian finger. That's the finger down under. In many ways, it's the most important finger on the right hand because, because it's the one that can cause the most damage and create the most problems for you probably of any finger. Um, and it's the one you can't see as a teacher. It's very difficult, even if you're walking around the room, to see what they're doing with their thumb and um, has you know, potential uh, bad things can happen with uh, the, the thumb and the, that, that finger down under. Okay, the, the, um, in terms of how it looks on the bow, I have this second finger, which is incredibly important because particularly on the violin or viola, it's that relationship that's critical to being able to hold the bow. It's that second finger opposite the thumb. Now on the viola, it can be a little bit more this way. Certainly on the cello, it's a little bit more between the two, but it's that second finger that's the real power finger there. The third finger goes, is the assistant to the, to the uh, uh, second finger, if you will. It goes along for the ride. Now the first and fourth fingers become critical because the first finger is the lean on me finger. Okay, that's what allows you to uh, add extra bite into the bow, into the string, weight, all kinds of things by leaning in. It's the lean on me. And, you know, with kids, I, I, I make them sing, lean on me. Yeah, I make them sing the song. Okay, the fourth finger is the point counterpoint. It's the thing that allows you to take, you know, to, to create um, uh, weight or to create um, go back the other way to oppose that first uh, finger, whether it be no matter wh where it is. In other words, that's what allows you to do, you know, that to, to, to be the teeter-totter, okay? So what you wind up with is uh, literally, there's the, the thing on which the, the, the board rests, and there's the teeter-totter fingers, if you will. 